Anyway, look at this story. We have a Volkswagen backed EV electric vehicle for you uh, newbie newbies. Uh, the EV maker rolls out first sodium ion battery powered electric car. I just wanted to bring this to your attention to show that there are other players entering the market. And now we got the Chai Coms out there making their little sodium cars. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it's going to do any well because you still got to charge it, right? Uh, you still need infrastructure and it's just not there. It's not there. All right. I don't know what this is. Uh, a new EV brand. Oh, it's Jack. Is that the name of it? Uh, Jack. JAC Group's Yiwe. A new EV brand in China, backed by Volkswagen, debuted its first sodium ion battery powder electric car. The new Jack Yiwe EV rolled out off the assembly line Wednesday. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's cool to see sodium. Why not make hydrogen and nuclear powered cars? How about, how about the, just go the proper route sithium fuel sithium fuel synthetic fuel again public school failed me a lot of manufacturers have bailed on electric vehicles and they're just going back to let's get synthetic fuel it'll be more efficient uh you'll still be able to run your internal combustion engines uh, yeah, and i think that's the way to go synthetic fuel or stick with the hybrids because toyota is killing it with their hybrid vehicles They've got it figured out, and that's maybe the way the happy medium compromise, right? Oh, so Volkswagen owns it. They invested 1 billion euros, B with a billion, B as a Bravo. 50%, uh, man, they really, they're buying into this crap. Instead of having Volkswagen retool all of its plants, they just went out and bought half of a company in China. And uh, yeah, it makes sense because it costs so much to retool your plants to go from ICE engines, internal combustion, to battery power. All right, the new EV features sodium ion cylindrical, I got that word right, cells from HINA Battery. The Beijing-based tech company is affiliated with the Institute of Physics, Chinese Academy of Sciences, PCAS. <laughs> it will use JAC Zhui Module Tech, a honeycomb battery structure. Honeycomb, mm. Jack's UE is similar, similar to the uh, BYD's Blade battery, which is used in Toyota, Kia, Ford EVs. Uh, it can also be compared to CATL, CTB, cell to pack technology. All right, that's all new to me. I'm just throwing this out there. You guys take this information and run with it. But deliveries of the new sodium, they should have a sugar battery powered Yowie. Yeah, then you can eat your car or you can lick it. I don't know. The uh, deliveries of the new sodium battery powered Yowie. Yeah, electric vehicle are expected to begin next month there it is guys it looks like a little toyota yaris 25 kilowatt of capacity and 120 watt per kilogram of energy density again that's all mixed science to me uh you got to go research that you brainiacs you nerds you'll figure it out the electric hatchback could recharge from 10 percent to 80 percent in 20 minutes just like the old teslas right uh let's see that's about it. Oh, top comment by Andres Soltes. Let's read the comment. I have high hopes for the new NA a ion battery, sodium, NA. That's chemistry. I failed chemistry too. I think I got a C in chemistry. I just hated it. The high hopes for this sodium battery types to make uh, battery types to make cheap but good quality cells available for average people once their mass production starts in earnest. Good quality LFP cells are still stuck at USD 400 uh, per kilowatt hour, which is really expensive when factory cost is uh, USD 80 per kilowatt hour. Maybe sodium ion will bring about a breakthrough and affordable cells really become available. Uh, although these sodium batteries, sodium ion batteries have a low energy density, uh, then the lithium ion, the goal, the, the thing here is with the sodium ion batteries, you do not need lithium anymore, which is hard to get. And, you know, that's why there's probably wars in Africa and Haiti. I don't know where lithium is, but uh, probably Afghanistan too. I think that's far where the geopolitical bull crap is and there's rare resources that the government want. So that's the real source. They want the resources of those countries. That's why they make these little wars, these proxy wars, just so we can get in there and other countries get in there and mine it. Like it happened, like the French did in Africa. They ripped off all the, the uh, resources there and that's why those countries are rebelling against France, which they should. France is greedy. America's greedy. All of them are greedy. All right, let's see. The, uh, these uh, sodium ion batteries have better low temperature performance, faster charging speeds, longer life spans, and increased durability over time. Perhaps most importantly, the batteries use cheaper raw materials. That's it, which can enable lower EV prices. 
Sodium ion batteries will become an important battery type, complementary to LFP batteries, and a low-cost solution that promotes the popularization of mass electric vehicles to masses, said the chairman of Yahweh Tech, Zio Shunli. Shunli. And there you go. More EV news. I'm anti-EV now. Having owned it, I can speak to it. I can criticize it. I'm not doing it again. I am not doing it again. Just It's just now. I want a nice internal combustion engine. Give me some synthetic fuel. I'll compromise. I want some synthetic fuel and a nice car. But again, I don't really drive anywhere. So I have a golf cart and a bicycle. <laughs> so that's one way to do it. Live where you don't need to drive a lot. And then you don't have to worry about all this crap. Car maintenance, insurance. Oh, it's, it's just a nightmare. Gas prices. Yeah, I, I'm glad I'm not riding on a beltway anymore. Hour to work and back. Those days are gone, big daddies. It's over. Make your life choices, and uh, you can save money. Don't wait for the government to save you. Because that, remember, Reagan said the biggest, uh, scariest words in history? I'm with the government. I'm here to help. That's when you run. All right, I'm out. What do you think? What do you think about this EV stuff? Let me know. I mean, I don't, it's just not ready. I think people are starting to realize this stuff is not ready for prime time. Uh, they all call it smug and cute with their little Teslas and that. I had a Tesla Model S. I did like it initially, but I did sell it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Keep the internal combustion engine going. That's where it's at. I'm out. Go forth through great things. It's uh, New Year's Eve, big daddies. Go have fun. 2024 is going to be a hell of a ride. So buckle down, prep, get water, get fuel, uh, get backup battery supplies. It's gonna get it's gonna get interesting, folks. It's gonna get interesting. We got a crazy election here, and uh, yeah, looking looking pretty wild. All right, I'm out. Talk to you later.